Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got an item, uh, a painting to share with you today from F. Gobi. I will pop the link, of course, in the description below. This is a bigger diamond painting. It's actually orientated this way. So let's see how much I can get in the shot. If not, we might have to do the tilt head. <laughs> And tilt to the side yes i think we're gonna have to tilt to the side but this is a gorgeous absolutely gorgeous stained glass effect image <coughs> but then we've got some really really nice detail in it so it's an 80 by 40 it has 24 colors um, they do have DMC numbers and they do use both white on the dark colours symbols and um, black on the lighter colours. It actually all looks to be letters of the alphabet, but you can see there's some really confetti detail in some of these stained glass sections. But then when you get down to the actual image section, there is quite a bit of, of detail in there. It's amazing how the faces being so small can still be seen. But I love the fact that you've got these sort of, in effect, sections for the stained glass. So you can, you can do sort of the, is it black? Yeah, so you can do the black in that section and then maybe concentrate on just the colours to fill in that section and you can do that quite a bit of the way up. Um, it's just a really nice way to work to sort of vary things up and it does give such a stunning such a stunning look as well and you know even though it's got quite a bit of black in it's not too overbearing it's not like you're doing too much of it so let me just check out the size of the actual diamond painting area it is 35 centimeters across so i expect this to be about 75 and let's just check it is it's just short it's probably about 74 and a half centimeters so it's not far off. You do get a toolkit with um, extra wax, two boats and two pens in case you want to share. And the diamonds actually come in, a, in baggies, which I love. Um, so much easier for kitting up. So there is actually quite a lot of the blue um, 798. It's, it's a very big bag. Uh, 310 is of course a big bag, which we'd expect it's scattered all the way through. But then you've got some really, really nice, you've got some pops of colour, especially with doing your blues. But then you've also got some more muted colours, of course, to make up those faces and skin tones. But there's a nice bit of purple and blue in there with, of course, the peachy tones and the browns and the greys and the greens that are sort of, they will all make up. Um, some of the shadowing of course we've got green and the browns and the peaches will all make up this face detail um, so that that really pops but I thought it was a really nice you know maybe a, a painting that comes out at Christmas time or maybe even not you know it will work any time of the year but I thought it was a really nice thing that could potentially be put up in a hallway or an entry ray at Christmas or that long wall that you may have that you're not quite sure what to put on there. Um, yeah, I just thought it was really, really nice. So why not? <laughs> why not people? Sometimes that is what you've got to say for you, to yourself. Why not do it because it's pretty. So yeah, just to say, show you clearly some of the detail. The canvas is really, easy to see it is poured glue there's not too much block work there is still you know some sections that are fairly blocky um, in the actual diamonds that you put in some of these but they do have the scattering of the odd little bit of color for shading as well so i don't think it's it's too tedious work 
and then you do get of course some more detail as you go down and a lot more detail on these side panels but just the clarity of the image I thought was really really nice and oh hello I'm so cute so sweet so yeah thank you so much to F Gobi for sending me this um to share with you all i will pop the link for this one down below of course so that you can check it out for yourself but i do want to thank you all so much for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon